What is up guys, it's me Fazli and today we are going back in time. Yep, we're gonna take an overhead bridge that's dated all the way back to the year 1975. Yep, I know it sounds kind of ridiculous but trust me, you'll know when you see it. Yep, that's an overhead bridge. Let's have a closer look. As you all know, this is one of the oldest overhead bridges here in Singapore and it's located along Ang Mo Kio Avenue 1 nearer to the junction of Lorong Chuan. So today I'll be meeting up with a friend of mine who's going to walk with us around the area as he's pretty much familiar with it. So let's see what we can find. Yo man, what's up? Uh, took you forever. Oh well, how are you man? What's up my man, let's go. Okay, so I'm kind of excited of what we can find here. So what do you think we can find here actually? I don't know man, the Beatles maybe? The ants? <laughs> Okay, so by just looking at it, it is indeed it's one of the oldest bridges here in Singapore. I mean, it doesn't look really extravagant. I mean, yeah, it's not really the Kavanaugh Bridge, you know? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure this bridge has its humble beginnings. Yeah, it sure does. I mean, this thing was built in 75, so... I just hope it's not haunted, man. Does everything old means haunted to you? <laughs> Did we just scare them off? <laughs> so, did you know this is one of the oldest bridges left in Singapore that's in this condition still? I mean, as a testament to how old the bridge is, look at all the rust over here. Yo, I can see that. Oh, yeah. man. But, but I thought there's another one which is older than this bridge, which is located at Serangoon Road. That was built in 1967. Oh yeah, dude. That was the oldest uh, until it got removed in 19. Oh, it got removed? So they, they replaced it? Yep, it's gone now. They just replaced it with the typical modern designs of everyday overhead bridges. Ah, man. Such a waste. There's no rustic charm to it, no? Right, so the bridge was built back in 75, no? like I mentioned earlier. So ever since then, it's been providing a stable uh, pedestrian connection between Lee Wan Drive, located right over there, huh? and uh, Golden Hill Park Condominium on the other side. So there's actually a playground over there right now. I mean, it'd be sad to actually if they remove this whole thing, man. It's 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 so unique. This one is like the last few remaining designs that reminds us of old times, no? Well, indeed, this bridge looks uniquely uh, different from the rest because I realized that it's actually made of containers. You know what? It is. Like, I really wonder why they decide to use container instead. Well, my friend, back then when uh, I did a bit of research onto the bridge, mm -hmm. so built by a company by, by the name of Mark Ng and Associates, from my understanding back then, uh, concrete was still a material in testing. It's not really built uh, many places in terms of overhead bridges yet. Wow. Right? Yeah. So I, still, I, I don't know, man. Still, yeah. it was actually a viable alternative to create such a structure. Hence, I assume they did this. Hey, it works! Alright, so I guess this is the best part. The part I've been waiting for. So let's kind of like go around and see the tiny little details of this bridge. So, shall we do it? Sure, why not? Alright, let's go. Alright, so old school bridge, old school lamps, uh, brass, metal. Yo, dude, you ever thought about since it's metal, right? Uh-huh. What noises does it get here when it rains? Oh, well, I mean... We're definitely lucky that it doesn't rain right now <laughs> or else this video might not have happened. <laughs> right? So, about the integrity, yeah, the bridge is shaking every time heavy vehicles passes by here. You notice something? What is it, man? You notice how short the bridge is? Like... I mean, it kind of like, it's a one arm length away. Yeah, right. I mean the height, it's, it's kind of short here. You will definitely feel taller, man. Short people, come here for photos. <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> <laughs> you can literally touch the. <laughs> I ain't that tall, man. I ain't that tall. Okay, I want to bring your attention to the windows. So, if you guys realize that it's actually hexagonal, it's not even square, it's not circle, but it's hexagon. It's unique. Alright, so if you guys want to know the reason behind why is it hexagon, I got no freaking clue. Neither do I. <laughs> I guess but, it was a thing back in the day, you know, like trends. Exactly. If you ask me whether I like it, maybe. 
Alright, so despite it being such an old and rustic bridge, right? Uh, there are still some modern aspects to it. The only thing modern on this bridge, however, is the concrete right below my feet. Yeah, that's it. Yay. Yeah. Do you think it was <laughs> do you think it was containers back then as well? <laughs> I don't What's know. What's wrong with you? Probably when they were walking and making those funny sound. I really want to ask you this question. Come on, come on, follow, follow me. Alright, alright. Hmm. Why is it painted in such? <laughs> Look, it's like halfway done, dude. <laughs> it's like grey, and it's green, and it's grey again, and it's green again. Like, so this bridge is a good example of what happens when the husband fights with the wife. You don't decide on things that way. <laughs> you know, when, when, I, when I came here, I thought like they were already halfway done into painting it grey. <laughs> Only to realize that there's a pattern to it. It's like grey and it's the initial color and it's the grey again. I was like, yo, make up your mind, man. <laughs> Hey man, thanks for showing us around. Yeah, no worries man. I just bought you in a straight line like 10 times. Oh, I didn't realize you went there like 10 times actually. Oops. <laughs> right, so hey, here's some food for thought. Uh -huh. So this is one of the cookiest bridges in Singapore, right? Uh -huh. Do you know of anything else? Well, I can think of Henderson's Wave. That's what, that's what most people would say. It was young dating. What about the Rainbow Bridge? You mean the one in al -Kaf? Aha, wrong. There's actually one more over at Kranji Railway at the end of the Green Corridor. That one is lesser known. Wow! Oh, I think we should probably explore that one day. Alright, so it's been a great day here with my friend, but I gotta go. So... Hey, I'll thanks thanks for showing me around, man. Alright, man. Alright, thanks for... See ya, man. Alright, see ya. Woo. So, what do you guys think of this bridge? Well, I would suggest that you guys give this bridge a visit before it gets taken away while it's still around. So, yeah. Well, that's all for now. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you soon.